Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. I know you're kind of known as being a Michigan guy, but you're from right down the road in Columbus. So you grew up in the whole Buckeye atmosphere. What are you most looking forward to for this season for Ohio State? Where are some areas you really think they can grow? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. I did grow up in Pickerington, 15 minutes from campus. Ohio State, I must say, never gave me a scholarship offer. So I work in the Fox family, had some fun with Urban about that. Uh, Buckeye fans love to remind me I never beat them as well. So it's it's all fun, fun banter. Really, I just think this is such a big year for Ohio State. And, and you know, Ryan Day is as good as it gets in college football. He's won, I think he has the best winning percentage to start a, a career, maybe of all time, certainly one of the best, except hasn't beat Michigan. And man, had they beat Georgia, had that field goal went in and, you know, missed wide, wide left, they're beating TCU and they win a national championship. And you look at this team and, and you see how many guys decided to come back on both sides of the ball, as well as the additions in the transfer portal. And this is, you know, the best roster across the board in college football. And I look at Quinshawn Junkins and Travion Henderson as the best backfield in all of college football, just absolutely loaded with speed, power, balance. And then you add in Will Howard, who certainly he's not CJ Stroud throwing the football, but he's closer to JT Barrett, a guy that will just rip your heart out on third and four. No one's open downfield. He'll rush and get you five. I don't think talent has been the issue in the past three years for Ohio State. I think they've had plenty of talent. But what's really encouraging is I listen to a guy like Will Howard talk, and he does press conferences where he's asked about the talent, and he shuts it down right away. He says, listen, we don't want to be known as a, a talented team this year. We want to be known for our toughness and our physicality. And I, I contrast that to Kyle McCord, who said before the Michigan game last year, hey, win or lose, it's just another game. I get it. You can't say that. But Will Howard is saying all the right things that you want to hear in Columbus. So you have a, 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 an extremely loaded roster with a quarterback that understands what it takes. What is it in your mind why they haven't been able to get over that hump? Why they haven't beat Michigan in recent years? Why they haven't captured that national championship under Ryan Day? It's funny. You know, we, we talk about analytics in football. We talk about X's and O's and certainly matters. But like in the biggest games, you know, you're, the margins are razor thin. I go back to my time, you know, at Michigan when I already said I was 0-4. I lost 42-41 in 2013. The JT was short game in 2016. Uh, there's there's like a self-fulfilling prophecy that goes on in your head, you know, and, and as trends come about in the rivalry, you have to overcome not just that game, but in some sense, the past as well. I also think about little decisions in the game. You know, Sh Sharon Moore, the standing head coach last year, he went for it on fourth and one twice in the same drive. Ryan Day at the 50 yard line decided to punt on fourth and two. I think they're gonna have a much more physical run game this year. And you have Quinshaw Junkins, Travion Henderson, and a Will Howard that can run the ball. I love the sexiness of throwing it to Jeremiah Smith and Emeka Ibuka. Do that all day long. But there, there's got to be a certain sense to say we're Ohio State, you know, we see ourselves as the kings of the Big Ten. We're going to do what we want to do and you have to stop us. Do you think that the pressure is mounting on Ryan Day right now that he's in a little bit of a hot seat headed into this year? It's weird because I don't want to say a hot seat, but is the pressure mounting? Like, yeah, I think he's probably under the most pressure of any coach at any level of football. It's like at, being at the poker table. All the chips are on the table at this point. Like there's no there's there's nowhere to run or hide. You know, your rival Michigan is entering a year where they're replacing everybody. You return everybody. They're replacing our whole their whole staff. You go out and get Chip Kelly. There's so many signs that say, man, Ohio State should roll through the Big Ten this year win the conference and win a national title with that comes pressure because that's always the expectation in columbus and they haven't done it big shake up when you look at the big 10 as a whole with the addition of four new teams how do you think that's going to play a factor this season it's just a deeper more competitive conference the, the schedules they, they, they there's nowhere to run there's nowhere to hide you know ohio state's going to play michigan every year that's going to be a big game ohio state has to travel out to eugene oregon to a loaded Dan Lanning led Oregon Ducks roster on the road. That's that's the new Big Ten. Like this is this is this is what's gonna be the, the expectation and the standard going forward. There's really never gonna be an easy schedule.